surprised those aftershocks were at all. It was ranging anywhere from a 2.9 to a 6. So wow. there was a pretty oh, intense one in there. Yeah. Gotcha. Really yeah. And all those power outages. Yeah. And a lot of people really affected by this. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll keep an eye on that. Well, remember, you can watch us right after this newscast on our sister station, KBCW 44, Cable 12, and our streaming service, CBS News Bay Area. We hope you'll join us there. Have yourself a great day. We've been doing this a long time. We've seen thousands of auto accident cases. Between the freeways and rush hour traffic, California's roads can be a dangerous place to drive. People get injured every day. In cases of serious injury, remember, your lawyer matters. Your lawyer matters to the insurance company. Your lawyer matters to the jury. And let's face it, your lawyer matters to the result. Choose the law firm with the reputation and experience to win your case. Choose Jacoby and Myers. Don't be denied the settlement you deserve. Denied. Why? It was only a small fender bender. What do you mean a small fender bender? Are you serious? Yeah, after reviewing your file, we're denying your injury claim. What? I still have all these bills and I'm still in pain. If you've been injured in an auto accident, call me first before you speak with the insurance adjusters. They are not your friends. We'll get you the settlement you deserve. And remember, when something goes wrong, call me and Bong. CBS News Bay Area. This is the Morning Edition. Good morning to you. It's Tuesday, December 20th right now on CBS News Bay Area. Breaking news in California is waking up to rumbling under the Humboldt County coastline. The destruction we're seeing it right here being reported this morning. Absolutely, Amanda. And back here in the Bay Area, residents of a legendary San Francisco neighborhood raising public concerns this morning. Why they say the Fillmore District is on a downward spiral. And, Justin, I'll tell you about a true labor of love happening in the South Bay. The extra special holiday celebrations underway to thank our Bay Area farm workers. And we have your Christmas forecast ready to go. And we're also going to be talking about this earthquake that happened this morning just offshore of Eureka. More on that coming up in a bit. And if you're getting ready to hit the roadways this morning, we're seeing that back of building on some of our Bay Area bridges, the San Mateo Bridge, and right there at the Bay Bridge as well. We'll have a look at those travel times coming up in just a moment. Let's start, though, with that breaking news. Humboldt County Sheriff's Office of Emergency Services says two people have been injured in this morning's 6.4 earthquake that shook parts of Northern California. Tens of thousands are also without power right now. That epicenter, you can see it right here, was just 12 miles west of Ferndale. That's more than 200 miles north of San Francisco. It was reported first around 2.30 this morning, and the CHP is closing the Fern Bridge. That is the main bridge out of Ferndale, and it's out of caution. This is a photo here Caltrans tweeted showing cracks across the road. Emergency Services is also reporting widespread damages to homes and roads specifically specifically in Eel River Valley. And inside those homes, you can see right here, residents in Humboldt County mm -hmm. took videos and photos showing objects large and small that fell all over the ground. Other people are also reporting similar damage this morning. And a lot of people are talking on Twitter, photos and videos of broken glass and furniture all over people's homes there. And it's leaving a lot of people concerned. Our CBS News Bay Area seismograph captured the moment the earthquake happened. You can see the huge spike in red right there and then it fades away. It's important to note there are reports of dozens of aftershocks, including a 4.6. pg and &E says right now more than 70,000 customers are without power. And we're going to show you the outage map right here, the pg and &E map all concentrated on the coast over there. Well, crews are going to conduct safety evaluations of both their gas and electrical systems. For more information, you can go to our website at kpix.com. First Alert Meteorologist Jessica Birch joins us now for a look at more on this earthquake. And I can see if the epicenter up over there. Exactly. We were just talking about the aftershocks, right? Yes. And how many there were. There were dozens. There's a lot. Dozens. Yeah. And it ranged offshore and even onshore, too. So